Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and I'm here to announce that the kitchen update for my furniture mod has finally been released. So you can go ahead and download this now. In this video today, I'm going to be showcasing over all the new stuff that has been added. Now, usually I do go over all the furniture, but because I've got so much furniture in my mod now, um, it's going to take too long to actually go over it all. So if you want to see the rest of the furniture, in this mod, um, I'll link you guys to another video in the description which uh, goes over everything um, before this kitchen update. So go to the link in the description if you want to see that. But anyway, let's get straight into this. So there have been many changes, um, new and existing as well. So there's been some new additions and there's been some changes um, to existing furniture in the mod. So let's start. So we've got the mailbox at the start here. And what we're going to do is we're going to place this down, but it's it's a little bit different um, how this mailbox works now. So once you place it down, you've got to right click it to claim the ownership. And once you've right clicked it, you've claimed the ownership of the mailbox and you can now use it um, for yourself. Now I've changed that just because um, we're having some problems before with it where it wasn't actually saving your name um, to the mailbox and then you couldn't remove it. But anyway, let's go onto this next section, and this is quite exciting and has been a highly requested feature for a while. And this is coloured couches. So right now there is only one couch in the game, but what you can do is you can get dyes now. So if we get a, these dyes out, you can actually colour the couches whatever colour you like. So we can do a, a fire colour, or we can do kind of like a a nature color, we can do some more blues, a little purple. It is amazing, it has been requested for a very long time. One thing if you guys don't know um, is that you can uh, actually create your own shapes with the couches, so not only just a little single one, you can create a corner, share, corner couch, you can create a two wide one, or an infinite wide one, whatever you like. So you can color the couches now, which is absolutely Awesome, I think you guys are going to be excited about that. Put these away. Uh, if you've noticed up the back here, we've got curtains, but you may... This is what the normal one looks like, but have a look at this one. This one's too wide. So I've now made it so curtains can actually extend to however wide you make them. And then when you close like these center ones, um, it doesn't close them all, but it gives off like a nice effect. See how it kind of goes into this render here, even though I closed this one. So uh, that's a cool effect that happens uh, when you close them now. And it is a lot better because instead of having like multiple of these, which look horrible, um, it actually turns out to look like one now, which is better. So that's it for this furniture down here. We're going to head upstairs. We'll head up this tree house, which I created. And we're on to the next room. So uh, this is still changes to existing furniture. I'm going to be looking at the kitchen stuff in a second. Uh, but we've got some, we've got a couple of changes here. First up, we've got the blinds. This is different now. So at the top, instead of oak planks, we've actually got a log up the top there. And then this little string only renders on the leftmost blind. So if we uh, put one over here, you'll see that the string is now on this leftmost blind. Uh, again, you can still open and close them. And it is it just looks a whole lot better now. The cabinet render has changed as well. Um, so it's no, no longer a full block. It's actually looking like the kitchen cabinet, which we'll get to in a second. Let's put that away. Um, so And it's also got a little handle at the front here and just still acts like as usual. Again, we've got a brown couch over here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab out these items here and we're going to have a look at the mine base store because this has actually changed. So if we open up the GUI now, you'll notice that the layout of Mine Bay is a little bit different. So now we actually kind of got, it's a little bit more um, pleasing on the eye because you can actually see what items are coming now. So the next one is going to be an egg, the next one's going to be a diamond or it can go back. Um, and it's just a whole lot nicer. So we can buy uh, an array of things and I've actually changed um, the items that you can buy here, so you can buy hardened clay, a skull, a saddle, a horse egg, horse armor, a bottle of enchanting, you can buy these Christmas fireworks which are absolutely awesome, 
uh, Enchanted Book, uh, Potion of Invincibility, and the last one is a Recipe Book. And we're going to buy this because this is a new item in my mod, which we're going to take a look at right now. This is a part of the kitchen update, so this is the first part of uh, looking at the kitchen stuff. Uh, but yeah, you can also buy other stuff like the Diamond Horse Armor. Uh, we can buy one of these eggs and buy a saddle, <laughs> buy a skull, and there we go, let's put that skull on. Oh god. Do I, do I look good guys? <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. So this new item here is a recipe book and you might be wondering what it is. Well, it basically tells you all the recipes which are registered using the recipe API in my mod if you know if you are not aware of the API it's basically a way you guys can add in your own custom recipes into the game and what I mean by recipes is that you can add in your own custom mine bay items you can add in your own custom printer items and stuff like that so if we open it up here it says recipe book by Mr. Crayfish and it says this book contains all recipes registered in the recipe API um, if you want to learn how to create your own custom recipes just click that button there and it will link you to a website and then we've got the content, so we've got stuff for oven, freezer, mine bay, printer, a chopping board, toaster, blender, microwave, dishwasher, and washing machine. So if we have a look at mine bay, you'll see that we've got a list of all the items which are in mine bay. And then we've got printer, and then we've got some freezer, so this tells you all the freezer recipes. And then we've got all the oven recipes. Now I'm not going to go into the stuff yet because that's a part of the kitchen update. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this room here. We're going to move on to the next section, which is actually the kitchen stuff. So um, <laughs> prepare yourself, guys. We've got some amazing stuff to show off. Here we go, guys. This is your new kitchen in Minecraft. You can become a Master Chef Pro now. This is how amazing this mod is. It turns you in from this little noob into a pro chef. So here we go guys, let's get into it. So uh, the first thing we're going to have a look at is these bar stools here. So these are little bar stools, the render is really nice on them. But the cool thing about them is that like the couches, you can get any die, right click it and it will colour the top of the bar stool to whatever colour you like. So that is absolutely awesome. You can also sit on them by right clicking like a normal chair. Top off of that. We've got these kitchen counters which can be conformed um, to any shape you like. So we can do corners. You can also do corners like this. So if we go that way, then we come around the back here, it will make this uh, kind of inverted corner uh, like that. So that's basically how um, using these kitchen counters you can make the shape of your kitchen. We've also got a sink as well. So you get the sink and then you put the two uh, kitchen counters next to it and yeah you can also fill the kitchen counter up with water as you can see you can take it out um, let's just grab the bucket from up here you can take it out and then you can put it back in now I'm in creative so it doesn't actually put the water in the bucket it just removes it but yeah that is the kitchen counter uh, I think you can also put water under the block that the kitchen counter sink is on and then you can just simply oh no you can't oh, oh no it's because it's full if I get that out yeah, so if you uh, have a water block under the block the sink is on, you can automatically fill it up. Like the um, like the basin and the, the bathtub and stuff like that. So over here we have a cookie jar and this is just a simple little uh, thing to put in your kitchen. You can basically store cookies inside of it. So you can store up to six cookies inside the jar and it's just really, just really aesthetically pleasing to have in your kitchen. And you can obviously take it out and then, oops. Okay, we lost a cookie. <laughs> it just went, it just flew back there, what the hell. Uh, but yeah, there's a cookie jar. Really awesome. I really love it, um, how it looks and stuff like that. Over here, we've got the blender. And this is probably one of my most favorite um, things which was added in this update. And basically, the blender will allow you to create drinks. And these drinks can be configured through the recipe API, but I have added in some default recipes. So we're going to have a look at the recipe book here, and I'm going to click on Blender, and we've got a couple of recipes here. So we've got a fruit crush, which requires two apples and four melon. We've got veggie juice, which needs four carrot, a potato, 
two pumpkin pie. We got cookies and cream milkshake, which requires two cookies and a bucket of milk. And an energy drink, which is eight redstone, one fire charge, and 16 sugar. So I think we might make the fruit crush first. So I'll grab that out. And then what you need to do is get the exact ingredients. It has to be exact. I'll show you what happens if you don't. So let's say I put in two apples. So it will put in the whole stack, but I only put in three melons. And to start the blender, you just have to shift and right click and see how it's not working. But if I take the melons out and then I put in four melons and then shift and right click, it will start blending because it is a valid recipe in the, uh, the book here. So where is it? Yeah, two apples and four melon. So let's exit that. And there we go. We've got our blended drink now. Now you may be asking, how do I get the drink out of the blender? Well, I've added a thing called cups into the game. So these items or these blocks that you see here are actually cups. So you can uh, break them and get them. And then what you can do is go up to a blender and simply right click the blender and it will take the drink out of the blender. Now you can do this six times, uh, well, up to six times. And you can actually drink these drinks as well. So they have a defined heal amount and they will restore your hunger bar. You can place them down as well once they've got the drink inside of it. So um, it just looks nice when you have like the drink inside of it and it's actually rendered um, as a block. So that is the blender. Oh yeah, there's one more recipe. Let's do the other one. So let's just break that, destroy it. Uh, this is the cookies and cream. Well, it should be. I just get some milk out so we put that in there Oop. and then the milk and then shift and right click and it will make our cookies and cream milkshake so let's get a cup out for this and you also get the bucket back if you do put it in and we can take out a cookies and cream milkshake and place that down around the kitchen oh yeah or you can drink it if you want to so that's it for the blender. Absolutely awesome. I love this. Um, and again, you can add your own custom recipes using the recipe API. There are tutorials. Um, as you can see, click that button there. Here we have the microwave. And this is just a simple little... Um, just yeah, It's just quite simple. Uh, so there's only two recipes that you can do at the moment. And this is beef and potato. And uh, basically, it's just a fast way to cook your food. Now, there are some disadvantages, though, um, to actually balance this out. So, you can only store one item in the um, slot at a time. So, if I try and put in uh, 64 raw beef, you'll see that only one goes in. And then to start it, you have to press start every time. But as you can see, it cooks really fast. And then you can just simply grab it out like that. But you have to do that each time. Now you may have heard that there was a sound behind my voice there, so if we just be quiet for a second. So it's got that kind of uh, cooking sound and then we got the finishing sound, so that is absolutely awesome. So that is the, uh, that is the uh, microwave. And it's also got a particle effect as you can see. Let's just do that again, we'll press start. See that particle effect? Pretty awesome. So that is the microwave. Also, um, you can actually see the item rendering inside of it from the outside here. Now, from what people have said so far, this is probably one of the most ador adorable things in this mod. And this is the chopping board. Oh, not the chopping board, but the toaster here. And we're going to get into that in a second. So if we grow out this bread and this knife here, what we're going to do is we're going to put the bread on top of the chopping board. So we can just right click, put that on the top there. Then we get our knife. And we can right click this chopping board and it will give us six bread slices. And then we can put these bread slices into the toaster here. And then to toast them, simply crouch and then right click the toaster. And the bread will go into it and it will start toasting away. Now we knew this was a recipe because if we look in the recipe book here and we go to chopping board, we can cut our bread and it will give us six bread slices. And there we go, we've got our toast, and what we can do with this toast now 
is we can actually pop it on top of the plates. So these are plates here and you can put food of any kind on top of them, not just toast. We can actually get um, a cookie out and put that on top of the cookie or we can get some fish, put that on there. Um, and it's just a really awesome way to display your food. Um, and then you can just like come sit down, you can grab your food and then start nomming on it. Nom 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 nom. So that's the chopping board and the toaster. And again, the toaster can be configured as well. So if we go to toaster here, um, when you put bread slice into it, it's going to toast it into toast. <laughs> so you can actually add your own custom recipes to that and the chopping board too. Now we're going to go on to some really highly requested features in this mod and I wanted to make these um, somewhat unique because they've been done before and they've been done in Jamie Furniture mod and I didn't want to do it exactly the same as he did it so um, this is the best that I could do to um, do it in a way that I think that is balanced and not overpowered. So the first one here is the dishwasher and what this allows you to do is it allows you to repair your tools. Now it does come at a cost as well. We've got to make soapy water and it does take a very long time. So I've got some damaged tools in this uh, kitchen cabinet at the top here. And I'm going to grab them all out. And then we've got this soapy water and this super soapy water. We'll grab them out too. So what you have to do is you have to put the soapy water in the top right slot at the top here and then we can put in our items by shift clicking if you want to and then what you need to do is simply just press start here and every time these bubbles on the left here reach the top it will add one durability back onto your tools now this takes 2.5 seconds to actually reach the top so it does take quite a while to actually repair them and I've done the calculations for a diamond tool and it takes about uh, I think it's an hour or something like that so it's absolutely crazy now it does repair your tools for free so please take that into note before you comment it's not balanced because it's repairing it for free now you might be wondering what the super soapy water is well basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this just get this items out I'm gonna break it and then replace it and then we're going to put super soapy water in and basically what this does is it speeds up the process so it doesn't take 2.5 seconds anymore I think it takes only uh, one second now so one two three four and as you can see it is repairing a whole lot quicker now so the super soapy water is more expensive though so it requires one of the soapy waters plus eight gold so it is quite expensive, but it does repair your tools a whole lot quicker. But anyway, that is the dishwasher. Um, as you can hear as well in the background, there are some sounds. Which just adds a really nice um, effect to it. So let's just stop that. And we're going to move on to the next one. Now I'm just going to clear. Oh yeah, in the recipe book too. If we just have a look in here. If we go to dishwasher. These are, the old, oh, these are all the tools that you can put in the dishwasher at the moment. And again, you can use the recipe API to add in more if you please. So that one repairs your tools. And I'm guessing you know what this one is. This is the washing machine. And this one repairs your armor. So it's very similar um, functionality. So we've got some damaged item or damaged armor at the top here. And we've also got some uh, so soapy water and some super soapy water. We're going to pop that in and again we can just shift click and we'll put in the soapy water at the top here and go ahead and just press start. So again it's 2.5 seconds to reach the top and then that will add one durability onto the armor. But again we can put in the super soapy water. Let's just do that right now. Let's stop. And we'll put in the super soapy water this time and it will repair it a whole lot quicker. Now a cool thing with this is if we just have a look at the front here, you can actually see the armor inside the washing machine. How awesome is that? You can see it spinning around. Absolutely amazing. And that is the washing machine. Absolutely awesome and a great way um, to repair your armor. Now just a couple of last things. We've got the kitchen cabinet at the top here. And if we just take a look 
uh, down here you can compare it to the other one. As you can see, it's basically the same, just retextured. The oven overhead here as well has changed a little bit. I've changed um, the textures that it uses, and also it's got a grill at the front here, and then we've got the glow stain at the back, um, and it just looks a whole lot nicer now. Now we've got one more little thing to look at, a very, very small thing, if we just come up the top of the treehouse here. Uh, just a little texture changes with the table with the tables here now so before it was just old cobblestone and old planks but now we've got planks and log at the top and cobblestone and then the stone at the top and again you can extend these however you like so it's just a really simple change and it looks a whole lot better now now that is basically it uh, the fridge we've already gone over and the oven has been in the mod for ages both of these have been in the mod for ages so that's why I'm not going over them so that's it for this update guys Hopefully you did enjoy watching this video today. If you did, you can go ahead and download the mod now. It is currently for 1.7.10 and 1.7.2. I am going to be doing a backport to 1.6.4. Um, and then there's also going to be an update for 1.8 very soon. So make sure you watch out for that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe if you want to keep up with development. And I will see you guys later. Bye bye.